What is going on everybody? It's Medicosis Perfectionatus where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our five minute review playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the causes of ear pain. We talked about acute otitis media. We talked about otitis media with effusion. We talked about chronic suppurative otitis media. We talked about mastoiditis, otitis externa, and cholesteatoma. But today we'll talk about autosclerosis another disease of the middle ear. Just like atherosclerosis is hardening of my arteries, autosclerosis is hardening of my ossicles, particularly the third ossicle, the stapes or the stirrup, specifically the foot plate of the stapes that's just hanging by the oval window. And since it's a problem of my middle ear, I can develop conductive hearing loss and it's usually bilaterally. Let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. A quick review on the anatomy of your ear. Your lovely ear is made of three parts, external ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Autosclerosis is a disease of the middle ear. Here's the external ear. We have the auricle or the ear pinna, external auditory meatus or canal, and then we have the tympanic membrane or the eardrum or membrana tympanica. As for the middle ear, it has the famous three bony ossicles, synovial joints between them, by the way, malus inca stapes, hammer anvil stirrup. As I get older, what do I get in my joints? Osteoarthritis, stiffness of the joints. Oh, what if the stiffness happened in my synovial joints here in the middle ear? Oh, then your bony ossicles will not vibrate as much and you will develop conductive hearing loss. Bingo, that is autosclerosis. If you wish to download these colorful notes, go to medicosisperfectionalis.com. I help you learn, understand, and pass exams. If you want me to personally tutor you, reach out to me on my website. Autosclerosis causes bone deposition here, at the rim of the oval window. Because the stapes is so rowdy, she decided to put her foot in the window. Which window? the oval window, not the round window. Here is the stapes, here is the oval window. Pause and review. And just like otitis media can cause conductive hearing loss, autosclerosis can also lead to the same problem, conductive hearing loss. Here is acute otitis media, which we have discussed before. Please pause and review. So what does autosclerosis mean? Auto means ear, sclerosis means hardening, because sclerus means rock. We have abnormal bone deposition at the rim of the oval window near the foot plate of stapes. Do not confuse autosclerosis, which is today's topic, with cholesteatoma, which was the last video's topic. Cholesteatoma is a cystic mass in the middle ear. Autosclerosis is hardening and bone depositions in the middle ear, particularly the foot process of the stapes and the oval window. Remember that cholesteatoma is not a true oma and it's not always filled with cholesterol either. It's just a cystic mass in the middle ear. Now, how do I remember autosclerosis I just think of atherosclerosis. Sclerosis means hardening or stiffness. Stiffness of my arteries or stiffness of my ossicles and oval window. Both are caused by deposition. Here I have deposition of fat and the atheroma formation, all the plaque and all the gunk. But here I have deposition of what? Bones. In the foot process of the stapes near the rim of the oval window. Both have genetic factors, of course. And both of them are progressive diseases. They can start in the young. And as you get older, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse until you go to the doctor, usually in your middle age or old age. Autosclerosis, what is that? Abnormal bony deposition in the middle ear. Be specific, near the rim of the oval window. Be more specific, near the foot process of stapes. Why do we have too much bone deposition? Probably due to an imbalance between bone resorption, i.e. breakdown, and bone deposition, i.e. laying down. The buildup and the breakdown are not in sync. I get fibrous ankylosis, which means fusion of the stapes foot process, then bony overgrowth, then fibrosis and vascularization of the temporal bone, and then nothing moves. This degree of immobilization determines the degree of conductive hearing loss. The patient is usually a female in the middle age, in the mid 30s. But don't forget, it started way earlier than that. It just became symptomatic and bothersome to the patient in the middle age or old age. More common in Caucasian because it runs in families and it's usually autosomal dominant with variable penetrance or incomplete penetrance. Translation, if grandpa 
has this disease, that does not necessarily mean that he will give the disease to every person in every subsequent generation. Some persons will get it, some persons will not. This is variable penetrant, i.e. the bad gene, genotypically speaking, could not penetrate every person, phenotypically speaking. That was tweetable. Physical exam, go back to your René, Weber, and Schwabach's test, and you'll find that the patient has conductive hearing loss, usually in both ears. Just like I develop osteoarthritis, usually in both of my knees, I can develop autosclerosis in both of my ears. And you'll find family history of similar symptoms. A more accurate test is audiometry. This will confirm that the patient has bilateral conductive hearing loss. Let's look into the ear. What do you find? Something behind the tympanic membrane, because we are in the middle ear right here. Reddish hue, deep to or behind the tympanic membrane. Diagnosis is made clinically and otoscopy and audiometry. Management, hearing aids to amplify the sound and surgical reconstruction of the stapes foot process. If you want to learn more about more ENT topics like this, download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. It also has cardiothoracic surgery, ophthalmological surgery, trauma surgery, orthopedic surgery, general surgery, and much more. If you want to learn more about eclampsia, preeclampsia, acute fatty liver disease of pregnancy, intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy, twin-twin transfusion syndrome, and much more, download my OBGYN high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. There are more than 600 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine, chemistry, math, and physics make perfect sense.